Hi, this is Vicky with Quick After Brick Toys, home of Lego love, Lego rain, and Lego fun, where we help you have fun building your Lego world. Okay, this is Vicky with Brick After Brick Toys, and I got together with the Brick Tubers, and we decided Halloween was so much fun, we had to do a special mock. So this is my mock for the Brick Tubers collaboration. So be sure to check out their videos, and I will leave the link to their channels in the description below. So. Hope you are having a great Halloween season and leave us a comment below and let us know what you're going to be for Halloween if you're dressing up for the office or for school or just for fun. Okay, so here I am. This is me, Vicky. I'm all dressed up as a witch and hopefully a good witch. And here's my husband who's dressed up as Dumbledore because he's a wizard with lots of things. So I'm going to pull back and show you some special guests that have come to this mock creation for Halloween. And be sure to stay tuned to the end because there might be some Lego rain on this whole situation. And you'll see why in just a minute. But first, I want to just share with you, I love my family so much, I decided that I had to show what they're going to be for Halloween. So listen, I have three crazy grandsons who absolutely love dragons, and their mom is making them special dragon costumes. So here is Benjamin, William, and Peter dressed up as the How to Train Your Dragon dragons. Oh my goodness, they're so scary. But not to be left out is George. George is such a cutie. George is their cousin too, and he is dressed up as Woody because he loves Toy Story. And here's his little sister, Ruby. She's dressed up as a kitty cat because she didn't want to be outdone by her sister, Molly, who is dressed up as a kitty cat, and her cousin, Alice, who's dressed up as a kitty cat. But those two girls wanted to be twinsies because they are so much alike. They are definitely soul sisters. And check it out, look who they brought. <laughs> they love unicorns and kitty cats. So they brought Unikitty all dressed up in her disco, disco boots to this Halloween party. And not to be outdone is Maggie. Oh my goodness. Maggie and Molly, who loves cats, Maggie loves dogs. And can you see how many dogs are in this video? Even the ghost dog has shown up. But check it out, not to be outdone, her brother is a teenager and he doesn't dress up for Halloween anymore. He just loves to play video games and hang out at the house. So and that's Garner and that is, those are the cousins in our family, but check it out. We have more guests who have come for Halloween. And we're gonna go around and turn the corner and as you're watching this video, be sure to see who the different uh, figures are. You might recognize a few. In fact, that kind of looks like Robin Hall from the UK, but he's uh, dressed up his hair a little bit. <laughs> and who do you think might be dressed up as the sheriff? I'm gonna leave it to your imagination to think about who would be dressing up as the sheriff. But honestly, around the corner, we have a Star Wars theme because some of our best friends on YouTube are definitely Angela and Gio from Gio the Jedi. We love those guys. And so check it out. There's Angela, of course, but which one do you think is Gio this year? Leave us a comment and let us know who you think Gio is because he loves Star Wars too. All right, all right. So, and look at that. Oh my goodness. Of course, we love the Lego Movie 2 and we also love Toy Story. So we had to have Buzz Lightyear make it into the video. Now I have a special guest here who is the Monkey King, but you know who that is? That's actually someone who absolutely loves to make us laugh. And I thought it would be fun to mention Unoriginal Brick Name. He's been doing some really fun comedy videos and he is a bit of a monkey. So there's Unoriginal Brick Name. Ooh, and here's a monster. This is a scary one. Who do you think that could be? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna show you this actually, this whole mock. I started it a couple of years ago and did a special video and I'll leave the link so you can see what it looked like originally. It was just like a cottage and I wanted to expand it because I thought the um, downstairs was cute, but it wasn't finished. So what I did was I put on a top and so I'm going to actually show you, I created this as a modular. So I updated the whole thing so you can actually take the top off and the 
second story off. So now we're gonna take the second story off so you can take a look and of course the roof in just a minute. So hang in there for story. I thought I better show you there's a party going on inside. Who is in here? Oh my goodness, these are the Bricktubers, these crazy people. I love these guys because they're all so creative and we have two gals, of course myself, and Kaz from Blockhead UK. So I let Kaz be the witch along with me, but she got to wear green face paint. How fun is that? But I also put JC from Small Brick City in there because those two are like wizards. They can create pretty much anything. Give them even tiny little pieces and they can create something fun out of it. Oh my goodness, there's Stefan, okay. From Brixenville. He does such amazing things on his channel. He has the best lit channel on YouTube. So I had to have him in here with the uh, lights directing traffic because he has an awesome city. If you haven't been over to see his city, you've got to check it out. And of course, um, Greg from GJ Bricks. He is over here because he is hopefully at some point gonna get the Disney train, but he has a ton of trains on his channel. So I thought we better show him as a conductor. And of course he has some cute little girls. So he dressed up as Mickey Mouse, the conductor for this video. And not last but not least, the two guys over here, such fun guys, Dr. McBrick, of course. And Dr. McBrick went a little crazy uh, with the hidden side. And he looks like he's been going a little bit insane with all the brick building he's been doing. And of course, we had to have Jacob from Brick Breakery. And he is dressed up as the party guy who come, pops out of the cake because of course he's from Brick Bakery. All right, so there's the party going on inside and we will take you upstairs now to see what else is happening. All right, first of all, on this balcony, I have to show you one of the cutest little guys. This is just really one of my favorite all-time Halloween characters that they came out with a couple years ago. This little devil is absolutely adorable and he's got his jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat um, candy container there and of course he just looks perfect on this floor and I thought this is where I put all those jack-o'-lanterns that I got from the Lego store recently because they just look so perfect and it was just really a fun way to um, to use them so I did want to just put a plug in for creativity guys because you know what almost everything in this um, in this particular mock, except for the minifigures, almost everything was from the, the um, pick a brick wall. Because I love, when I go to Lego stores, I love to go in and just pick bricks off of the back wall. And so all these things, even the window sashings and everything came right off that back wall over the last year or two. And I, I wanted to just share, when you're building something, you can be creative and use lots of different colors and it just makes it fun and more unique and interesting. Um, I was thinking about how to create this mock and at first I thought I'd make a big gray castle and I thought, you know what, that's a Halloween thing that most people are gonna do. I thought I would do something creative and fun that I would love to do and maybe you would enjoy seeing it too. All right, so we gotta take the top off of this here and hopefully everything doesn't fall apart. But I did, um, ooh, there goes it was the fire okay hold on we'll put that over here for a second we'll just set that over there and hope it doesn't fall um so just so you know i did put um some spacers on here so it'd be easier to take it off and then i wanted to show you there's some partying going on in here too you know honestly this is like such a delicious looking snack table it would be tempting to go in there but when you see who's in there i don't know frankenstein the wolfman are they costumes? Are they real? Who knows? Because you know what? That pizza guy looks a little bit nervous. He is not sure if he wants to be in that room. And there's the snake charmer and he has turned it into a trick. That bowl of apples has a snake in it, oh no! That's not good. And the balloon maker guy over in the corner is thinking, what did my agent get me into? I'm not sure I should be here. So this is of uh, the second story of, of our um, Halloween cottage mock. All right, let's take you to the roof because that was, I had so much fun creating the roof of this. And again, it fits right on. And, um, and so I just had a blast. I couldn't help but think on Halloween, you've got to have a fire pit, right? So I turned the whole roof into a fire pit. So 
I think it was a little ill-advised of Dorothy to bring her gang over here. I don't think the Dorothy Wizard of Oz crew should have probably come here, especially the Scarecrow. He's looking a little nervous. That's a lot of fire for the Man of Straw to be around. <laughs> Uh, the mummy, of course, it doesn't mind at all because the mummy likes really well done marshmallows. The ghost is thinking these people are crazy. And of course, we've got um, General Mayhem who loves to see things go crazy and get a little out of control. She's toasting marshmallows, but she's thinking this is just an accident waiting to happen up here. The Tin Man has an ax, maybe he can save the day, and the witch is just laughing because she thinks it's hysterical. So, <laughs> I had a lot of fun building this mug. I hope you had fun um, checking it out, and hey, leave me a comment and let me know if you're creating a Halloween mock for your channel. I'd love to go and check it out. So, I will take you back to the beginning so you can see it again, and then there's going to be some Lego rain, so hang in there.